Hosanna, Hosanna. Let's all say. We're so glad you made it here this morning. Good morning. I think it's a special Sunday because I usually never put button shirts, but I put a button shirt on today. You're looking good, Ruby. Thank you're you, looking thank good. You. And you know what? You're looking good as well. Welcome. This is an amazing room, and it always becomes magical how it gets transformed. So it's so exciting to be here for what's coming up. Yes, it is. And so prepare your hearts and don't miss out on the wonder of Christmas this morning. Welcome. How many are ready to sing and praise our King of Kings this morning? Let's all clap together. Say, joy to, joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let, let earth receive her King. Let every heart, let every Prepare him room 
shout of praise because you got joy in your heart. say that Christ is your Lord in this morning. Oh, how many are ready to have a party in this place? Let's go. During this season, it gets extremely busy. We get busy with so many things, but it's good to slow down and take a moment and be reminded of what it's all about. So we're gonna take a moment to do the lighting of the fourth candle, which the fourth candle is the candle of peace. And God was brought to this world for the main purpose of peace. And there's nothing that can replace it. And it's, it's kind of amazing, because I haven't even put up my Christmas tree up yet. That should probably happen already. but. I told my wife, I said, but it's such a good season in our life right now. Everything is going well. So nothing can be replaced with peace. So I want to read this verse with you guys today. Luke 2.14. Glory to God in the highest in heaven and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Let's take this moment and light the candle. And as we have lighted the candle of peace, we make a declaration and we make an affirmation that he is the peace. He is the prince of peace. And I know that if you're here for the first time, maybe you were invited to a musical production, but you were also invited to church. 
And when you come to church, you have an encounter with the King of Kings. And you have an encounter with the Lord of Lords. And he's not a God who comes to take from you, but he's a God that comes to add to your life. And we're going to have a time of prayer. And I want you, if you are if you are a member of this church, you know that we pray. When we pray, we, we do business with Jesus, our Father. And if this is your first time, can I invite you to open up your heart? I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what your journey happens to look like this season in 2023. Maybe you've had it. Maybe you're frustrated. Maybe, you, maybe you're like some people that haven't put up their Christmas tree. But just because, you know what? You just don't feel like it. Because there has been nothing good about the season for you. I am here to remind you that the reason for this season is Jesus Christ. And all you need to do is to believe and to reach out and call upon his name. And if you haven't done so yet, would you join with me? And do that right now as we pray. Father God, we come before you. And we come to you, Lord, with joy, with thanksgiving. Not because all our situation is perfect or we got it all together. Lord, yes, there is a list of things to do. Some of us have pain. There's tears, Lord, in our heart. But Lord, we've come to this place because there's something inside of us that tells us that there's something else out there. There's something in our soul that tells us that there's something more. There's got to be something more than what I do day in and day out. And Lord, today we recognize that yes, that something more has a name and that is Jesus, the name above all names. And Lord, just as if you have done in my life and the life of many others in this room we come to you and we present ourselves and we say Lord here we are messed up we have scores we have failures we have problems but we also have hope we also have a cry that goes out and we believe today that you are listening to our call and we pray that that prince of peace would come upon us today and that you would rule upon our hearts that you would rule upon our minds and where our lives are broken where our lives are frustrated where we have anxiety where we have depression today we open up to the prince of peace to the true peace of peace that he would come and begin to do a work a work that no thing can do that no human can do no amount of money in the bank can do no drugs can give me the high that I need Lord God no man in my life no woman in my life but Jesus but Jesus shows up and the room lights up but Jesus shows up and my tears Lord God I walked away and today I believe I believe Lord God that you will make yourself real to all of us that are here and have an earnest heart and have a cry in our heart to experience the wonder of Christmas this season in Jesus name I declare it and I believe it Amen and amen. Amen. I'm, I just can't, I just can't tell you how excited I really am about today. My husband can attest to this. I woke up at four in the morning. And since four in the morning, I literally have been like an energizer bunny. And he literally looked at me. He goes, wow, it kind of be nice if you woke up like this every day. Truly being honest here. But you know why? I'm excited because I get to see you. I get to see you come and experience my King of Kings. I get to come you, I get to come here and present to you the one that has changed my life. He is real. Would you today open up your hearts? Open up your minds. Would you, Rudy? Do I that will. too. Welcome. I know. Yeah, I, I was going crazy. Huh? I know. I know. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Giving you the space. Thank you. Thank you. Open up your hearts and minds to experience the wonder of Christmas this morning. Let's all enjoy it together.
Thank you for staying and making me company, my son. It's just that everybody left and didn't tell me. <laughs> you are so cute and funny. But tell me, what is it that you like the most about Christmas? What I like the most are the presents and candies. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. But you know, did you know there is a better reason to celebrate Christmas? And actually, I would like to share it with you. Right now, we have enough time. Would you like me to read about the real story and the meaning of Christmas? Yes. Perfect. So pay attention. I've heard about this baby boy who's came to earth to bring us joy and I just wanna sing this song to you it goes like this the four, the fifth, the minor fall the major leap in every breath I'm singing hallelujah 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 a couple came to Bethlehem expecting child they searched the Listen to this. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, 
to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and we be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you do this child that you delivered will soon deliver you mary did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man mary did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hands did you know that your baby boy would back with angels trod and when you kiss your little baby you've kissed the face of god oh your baby boy is lord of all creation mary did you know that your baby boy would one day rule 
the nations Did you know that your baby boy Is heaven's perfect lamb And that sleeping child you're holding Is the great Did you know oh. Wow, Grandpa, what happened next? Well, that day Jesus was born and many wonders started to happen. So let me read you, pay attention. That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them, don't be afraid. He said, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see the things that has happened, which the Lord has told us about.
son that day the son of god was born and so many wonderful things started to happen but why don't we sit down and have some chocolate and i'm gonna be telling you more about it okay grandfather
pa rum pum 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 on my drum. What happened to the pastor? Do you, you have to remember because you were there, weren't you? No, I wasn't there. I'm not that old. You are too funny. But better keep telling you what the Bible says about the story. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men came from eastern lands, arrived in Jerusalem, asking, What is the newborn king? of the Jews. We saw his star as he rose, and we had to come to worship him. Also reads, they entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
sacrifice hallelujah hallelujah sounds to the earth and sky star of wonder star of life star with royal beauty bright where's worth living still proceed beautiful story yes it is it is such a beautiful story but the real reason why we celebrate Christmas is that Jesus Christ was born the Son of God
His kingdom is eternal. So glorious His majesty. There is no one else like Him. It's Christmas time. Christmas time. The Savior King has come to earth. In Him we go and we are saved. He came to earth. Can we give all of our singers, all of our actors, everybody, all our musicians a huge round of applause. And uh, we, we, we were thinking last night um, during our dress rehearsal that we have the best looking three kings on the planet. And we were uh, planning to draw up contracts to, for them to sign that they have to be the kings from now until they die or Jesus comes back, whichever is first. Everybody did such an incredible job and uh, so grateful for all of you. One more round of applause for each of them. Well done, guys. I had a really tough week this week and... Uh, was very, very extremely sick. Uh, I've heard a lot of people in our church that have been the same way and some that are feeling it today. I started feeling much, much better. 
uh, by yesterday morning, praise God. Uh, but how many know that sometimes the voice takes a few days to get back to you? And uh, still suffering through that. So a lot of tea and a lot of cough drops and a lot of all of that to make it through the day. Because after this one, we still have two more to go. And uh, it's been good. You know, when we think about the wonder of Christmas, a lot of times we wonder, well, what, what is the wonder of Christmas? Right? And we might think about the star that showed up that the wise men were following. What a wonderful thing that must have been. Or we might think about the angel Gabriel that shows up to Mary. We might think about the angels that were singing in the heavens, glory to God in the highest and on peace, earth and goodwill towards all men. What wonderful things that they experienced. You know, and even right now, as we celebrate Christmas, we might think about what are those things that are the wonders of Christmas, like the new iPhone 15 you're hoping to get for Christmas. Anybody? In fact, I, I've been seeing Apple with, uh, with advertisements with, with this title, Wonder Awaits. Has anybody seen that? Wonder Awaits. I'm like, they're even using the word. I think we started using it before them, so uh, they're just copying us now. That's what's going on. But you think about a new car or new this or new that or new whatever and, 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 and the wonder that you might have. And, and so we ask a lot of times, you know, what might be wonderful? But the more important question is not what, but who is the wonder of Christmas? And there's only one answer we can give to that, and that is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the wonder of Christmas. Amen. And you know, as we think about this, I think what really hit my heart over the last week uh, was what, the, what these wise men, what these kings brought. Now, the, the story in scripture doesn't tell us that it was only three of them. It could have been five or 10 or 20 or 50. Uh, we don't know how many came to visit, but um, we usually do three because they specifically brought three gifts. And what were these three? Well, let's take a look real quick right here uh, in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. It says, they entered the house and saw the child with his mother Mary. And they did what? They bowed down and worshipped him. They bowed down. I, I want to I stop us right there. These men who were kings in their own right, men of riches and authority. They came, they didn't bow down before Mary or Joseph. They bowed down before a baby. Why would they do that? Well, we see it in the gifts that they bring. We actually see it in the gifts they bring. Then they opened up their treasure chests and gave him gifts of three things. What are the three? Why don't you read them with me? They are gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Everybody say gold. See, that one's interesting. If you're a mother in the room, if you've had babies, I'm sure that when you had your baby shower, people brought you diapers, lots of them, hopefully. They brought you uh, some clothes. I remember the problem was they always brought us the newborn clothes that only lasted for a week because they grow too fast. We're like, no, we need ones for like six months and ones for a year, and, you know. But I doubt any of you received gold from somebody. They're like, oh, what a blessing. You're having a baby. Here's a pound of gold for you. Praise God. No, we don't do this. In those days, you brought gold as a gift to kings. So when these wise men come by giving Jesus gold, they are saying, you are a king. But they didn't just give him gold. The second thing they give him, what is it? Frankincense. Frankincense. And incense, and I was speaking to the church about this just recently, that incense represents the presence
prayers and the worship of the people of God. Incense is the prayers and the worship of the people of God. Now, now stick with me here. Because it is recognizing God not only as a king. Stick with me. It's recognizing God as the king. Because there are many kings, but there is only one who's worthy to be worshipped. And so incense tells us that he is the king who is here to be worshipped. He's the king of kings. Amen. And the third one. What's the third one? Everybody say it. Myrrh. Why would you bring a newborn baby myrrh? Myrrh is what they would use to anoint or to place on the bodies of those who had died in order to prepare the body for burial. These men that came to visit Jesus brought a gift that prophetically spoke to the fact that this king, who is the only king worthy to be worshipped, would be the one to give his life to die on the cross so that way we might have life for all eternity. Amen. Every single thing in Scripture points to Jesus. And so we come to a moment like this and we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to recognize that Jesus Christ is the King. That He gave His life. He came to this earth to give His life for you and for me. So that way we might worship Him forever as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Can we be in this Christmas time a people of gold, incense, and myrrh? A people who recognize Him as King, who receive Him as Savior, and who worship Him as the only King of Kings that there is. Because you know what? We could open up all the other wonders of Christmas on Christmas Day. Some of us do it right at midnight. If you're in the Hispanic or Latino tradition, others of us do it sometime in the morning after we wake up Christmas morning. And just because my wife and I are a mixed family, we do it at like three different times. It's great. The more the merrier. But when you open up your gifts, you're hoping for some wonders. But what my desire is for each and every one of you in this Christmas season is you would open up the gift who is the wonder of Christmas, Jesus Christ. Because we can get everything else, but if we don't get him, We've missed it all. He is the wonder of wonders. The wonder of wonders. Amen. Would you allow me to lead us in a prayer right now? Jesus, today, we are so grateful for your goodness, for your life, for your blessing. We're grateful for everybody here in the room and everybody that's online with us as well. And Jesus, today, we recognize you for who you are. Oh, you are a good God, a God of wonder. And today, Jesus, we say yes to you. We say yes to you as not just a king, but as the king, the one who is worthy to be worshiped and the one who has come to save us so we might live with life eternally. And so today, this is our desire, Lord Jesus. This is our desire, Lord Jesus, is to know you and to walk with you. And if there's anyone here today, that today you recognize, you want to recognize this Jesus as your King, as your Savior, and as the one in your life who is worthy to be worshipped and to be praised. 
Would you just right now lift up a hand? If you need to say yes to Jesus, if you want to come back to Jesus today, just lift up a hand. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that hand. Thank you for that hand. I see young people all the way to older people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see hands being raised all over this room. And even if you're at home right now, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're at home right now, you can raise up your hand in the house. The Lord sees you where you are. And I pray over you. Thank you for that hand. I pray that you would be filled, filled today with the life of Jesus Christ. And that you would walk in the newness of God and the life that he has to offer to you. His life is yours today. Walk in freedom. Walk in hope. Walk in faith. And give your life in worship to this King of Kings. In Jesus' name. How many say amen? Can we give an applause to everybody that raised up their hands? God bless you all.